Hello, but I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. Of course, I left town for a day. I come back and there's so many roster changing rumors out there. So in today's episode, guys, I'm going to try and recap what happened in the past two days or so in terms of roster changes out there and team changes. And I want you guys to know, just a forewarning, there will be a second video out later today or early tomorrow to try and cover all the stories that I do miss in today's episode. We're going to try and cover all the roster moves that have happened up till now, as well as the rumors out there and some other stories as well. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Let's break down what happened in CSGO in the past 24 hours. So in Firm news, of course, the big story out there as of right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys heard about this one. Kiyoshima has officially joined Team Envious. It was kind of a last second rumor that he might be joining for someone like Sixer or Happy, but it did indeed actually go through for XMS, which was the uh, the first original expected player for him to be replacing on that Envious roster. Here's a brand new roster on screen for all of you. It does seem for the time being and throughout ESL Pro League, Kiyoshima will be their final fifth member and they won't be making any prolonged changes besides that. So congrats to them. I cannot wait to see Kiyoshima after almost eight months away from the pro scene, how he'll do it on this roster. Now on top of that for all you other French fans out there on the side of G2. We have not heard from Shox yet. Apparently though, he had a meeting with a specialist and a doctor just this past Friday. As you guys can see by the tweet on screen, we're going to wait for updates on that and who knows who's going to fill in for G2 during ESL Pro League if Shox is actually out for a couple weeks due to his hand injury, which could be quite serious. So we're still waiting for comments on that as well as some big news for all you North American fans out there. It does seem almost guaranteed. We'd be very naive to say that Optic Gaming will not make changes. I think it will come sometime soon in the next three or four days, guys. As, as many of you guys have heard about their coach I'm a pet will be leaving that roster and it does seem some of the players have been tweeting out some very random things headshot or I got I'm sorry I do apologize HS saying things like this we also have Freiburg on the team saying things like this does he need to know Danish is he going to go to some Danish team out there could Freiburg be going going to Astralis or some other team they might be trolling but it almost seems certain especially as of recently we had optic gaming pull out of the IEM qualifiers for no for no apparent reason and even more importantly guys they've also now officially pulled out of CS Summit 2 which does start this week for no undisclosed reason. So again, this is actually a telltale sign, guys. Optic Gaming will be making changes. No one knows what those changes will be, though. So expect that in the next two days to be confirmed that Optic will also be a part of the many teams out there making roster moves. And a quick intermission for all that news and all the kind of all the stories going on. Thank you all for commenting down below. I do read the comments, and especially in my hotel room, I was reading through all the comments. So thank you to this guy on screen for leaving a comment of the day. I really do appreciate the kind words, guys, and all of you guys who comment down below. And I hope I can reply to many of you in the future as well. Now, on top of that as well, I want to thank you all for my watching for my sponsor as well, CS.Money. They're definitely one of the trading websites I use out there myself and I've used in the past and will probably continue to use in the future. One of the better deals out there if you guys want to trade your CSGO skins for better skins, my link is down below and thank you all for using that. Anyway though, now back to other jigs. On top of that, another rumor out there for North American teams, of course, Liquid apparently will be at replacing JDM for the first time in a long, long time, their primary opera with Nafly. Nafly coming from Team Renegades. It's only a rumor right now, guys, but it would be kind of a, a sudden out of nowhere move because of course, Nafly on Team Renegades Gates. He wasn't even their primary or their secondary opera, although you guys can make sense, of course, but when he was back with Optic himself, he was a secondary opera for them, and he certainly could do that. So yes, it's certainly true as well. Renegades Nafly could be actually replacing Liquid JDM. We'll see if that does go through. That's one of the many rumors out there on top of, of course, you guys have heard about Dennis. Dennis has the most options of any team out there right now. People are saying maybe a Misfits, maybe an Optic as well, maybe NIP, maybe other teams as well. Dennis has the most options out there, and again, I told you guys I wouldn't talk about him we know for sure. So enough about Dennis. And all their official news, we also have Team Sprout. If you guys remember, Team Sprout was actually at the major qualifier. They did, you know, fairly well qualifying for that. They were formerly known as Team Seed. Before that, they were the X Penta roster, just to give you guys a little background about that. And about a year ago, that X Penta roster, the three of those guys that were actually there, one of them was actually Zen. Zen is now off that roster for Team Sprout, guys, and he's actually been replaced by NATO Sapphix on that team, and he will be at least their opera or the IGL, one of those two roles, guys. So yes, Team Sprouts also made changes. Other rumors as well, for all of you guys who are curious about North American changes. It does seem to have rumors right now about Team Misfits, the organization, as well as Echo Fox. They are searching for a team for those who has a pro league spot. So either Team Misfits, who, who currently only has two players, the two of their French players, Amanek or Devo Dubeck, and as well as Echo Fox, who released their roster back in early 2017. Both those organizations are looking to sign a team out there who has a pro league spot. We'll talk about that more in the future, who those teams could be, but we do expect those two North American organizations to move into ESL Pro League sometime soon. Who they'll sign, though, is a complete mystery and what rosters are available right now. Well, there's plenty right now who are floating around, Soar Gaming being one of them. We'll see what happens, though, sometime soon. If Misfits or Echo Fox will actually get back into a team and actually a team who has an ESL Pro League spot, it's certainly possible. And an absolutely shocking news a couple days ago, we had Kier be leaving the Astralis roster. Now, a lot of you guys actually saw this coming. I thought it was absolutely shocking to see an Astralis lineup who really did not struggle too much. Given the circumstances, that device was very, very sick in the Major. They didn't do too poorly at the Major. Of course, we expected them to make the playoffs and do much better than that uh, based off what 
past experiences, but the fact that they had that much going on right now, I did not expect Kirby to actually leave the roster officially. He did so though, and apparently according to Glaive, other members as well, they found out two hours before the E-League press conference that he'd be leaving to Team North. Now, of course, North already benching Convig, and of course, a long time ago, they lost Magis Boy, so people thinking Convig might join up with Optic as well because they're former teammates. So a lot of things going on right now, guys. North have signed their official fifth member, and that will be Kirby. Along with that, though, they also added Mertz in place of their other drop of Cajun B. So the final North roster on screen for all of you. Astralis is still in search for a fifth member. People thinking that Pimp might be out there, former Liquid Pimp. There's a lot of Danish guys out there who could join the Astralis lineup. And yes, Freiburg could also be an option there as well. So Kirby is now gone. That was a huge surprise, guys. Astralis has yet to announce their fifth member. Expect that coming sometime soon. Now, also, in huge news for all you Brazilian fans out there, and very, very shocking news, of course, we had the X Immortals roster, X Hunter Thieves roster. They were released by 100 Thieves for really no reason. Uh, 100 Thieves said they had visa issues, but then 100 Thieves, uh, the members, uh, team one, the former Team 1 member, Bit, came out and said uh, we had no visa issues. So it was kind of confusing. I talked about that last episode. 100 Thieves said they had visa issues. The teammates say they don't have visa issues, so someone's actually lying there. Apparently, no issues going on visa-wise with that roster. They have, of course, down to four members, though. They're searching for a fifth, which will likely be Phelps. And now we have KNG, the lone wolf himself, been kicked from Immortals, been kicked from 100 Thieves. No one knows what he'll do in the future. And out of nowhere, he has now joined Virtue Gaming. Virtue Gaming, a pretty decently well-known, for all you Brazilian fans out there, a decently well-known BR organization. And apparently, he'll be allowed to start that roster from scratch. So currently, right now, I think there's a former Gorilla member, Kogu, who's on that roster, as well as an Uprising Star. And according to HLTV and KNG himself, he's going to be starting a CSGO, Brazilian CSGO roster from scratch, and he will not include the current Virtue Gaming players. And can you imagine this for a second? They they first bring this guy in, and he knows from a, for a fact, for almost guaranteed, the team he's, he actually joins, he'll be the one sole member, and he'll, he's going to kick everyone else on the current roster and make the entire team from scratch. How would you feel if you're Kogu or the other up, Uprising Star on that team? It's amazing to see how much power they're giving this guy, and who knows who's currently still available. I'm not really well in depth in the Brazilian scene right now, but who wants to play with KNG? Probably a lot of up, up and young comers who want to, of course, be successful and, of course, be known, but a lot of the top-notch guys are already taken away. We have the X Hunter Thieves roster. We have SK Gaming. We have Luminosity Gaming right here. Tempo Storm released their roster, so maybe they're going to be involved somehow, but as of right now, KNG will start his new roster with Virtue Gaming. Who's going to join him? Will his unluckiness continue? Uh, who knows right now, but that was in shocking news. And that's going to do it for now, guys. Now, please, uh, I want you guys to be aware. Be aware of an update, a video coming sometime either later today or earlier or tomorrow. I want to wait for all the confirmations to come through. But trust me, guys, it's going to be a packed week of actual CSGO videos. I have other CSGO videos planned. I'll push those back, though, until all these roster moves are actually confirmed. What do you guys think about this? What's the craziest thing you've heard so far? My own my own personal opinion says Kirby. I did not see that one coming. Now he is back to north with all of those guys. So it's going to be crazy to see what happens in the future. And I think the optic changes will shock a lot of people. That roster to me is just seemingly, it's very confusing right now what Optic's going to do in the future. What do you guys think about that? Leave a comment down below. As always, my name is Jake Murray, like you. I will see you all early tomorrow or later today as well. Hope you guys all enjoy. Enjoy the Super Bowl for all you American fans out there. I'm going to go now. Goodbye, guys. We're going to start it off with a really, really hot topic with the Counter-Strike team. Adam Braun says, what is up with the Optic CSGO team? So right now, we don't have any updates. Um, you know, there there are uh, some some things that are moving in the background, uh, but it, it, I cannot explain these things to you because there are different moving parts to this. It's not just, uh, when it's a team thing, 